bad day of weather across West Central Ohio, but we've had to dodge a few showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. Looking at satellite and radar now, generally most of us are dry, but a couple of us are still experiencing some showers and storms as temperatures mostly in the 70s. First, let's start off to the south. There are some more concentrated activity now just southwest of Urbana and Champaign County, as well towards Vandalia along the Dayton International Airport area, but closer up further north, closer to home. We have a couple more weaker showers and storms, one entering Salina, another one between Convoy and Van Wert, a couple just southeast of Ottawa that is a little bit more robust. That made clip areas like Benton Bridge and then Finley also getting clipped by a shower at the moment. Now, as we zoom out, the most robust activity is across eastern Ohio through West Virginia and eastern Kentucky. So we're not going to get the most substantial of showers and storms. Could have a couple more that could filter through the area, but overall we should see a decreasing trend as we keep going through the evening hours. 83 was the high temperature today, following a morning low of 67. At the airport, we only picked up three hundredths of an inch of rain. It's more like a hit and miss, feast or famine type of situation with these rainfall shower, rain showers coming through. Record high 99 back in 88, 48 record low in 76. We may actually get quite close to that next week, and I'll show you in just a moment. Skycast for the remainder of the evening. Can't rule out a couple more hit or miss shower storms for the next few hours before that really decreases by 10 o'clock. Overnight, we'll have a break in some of those clouds. As we go through our Sunday, partly cloudy skies with a few showers and storms that will filter through the area once we get daytime heating through the afternoon and evening. That, too, once will subside once we get past sunset. And then we'll get a northerly wind as we go into Monday, and that's going to signal some big changes on the way. September-like air is on the way in the next week. That's going to bring a lot of cool Canadian air down south to the area, and that's really going to give a fantastic feel to the atmosphere and perfect timing for the Allen County Fair. Look at these dew points. They're going to plummet by the time we get in the next week. I almost ran out of space on my graphic putting the circle down in the lower 40s for dew points by next Wednesday. So overall, great plans and great weather next week for the for the Allen County Fair. So future temperatures for tonight will generally drop down in the middle 60s, going 66 in Lima, then overall back in the upper 70s to so right around 80 as we finish out our Sunday tomorrow. Looking at the rest of the seven day forecast, look at this weather next week. Overall, 76 on Monday, turning sunny. 52 Tuesday morning, only 73 on Tuesday, sunny skies. 50 degrees Wednesday morning. Uh, quite a few locations may even drop down into the 40s. This beautiful weather continues through Thursday. Then we do begin to heat up for Friday and next Saturday. Back to you, Casey.